bunkers are the main part of building in Rust. After countless fixes, most of them have disappeared from the game, while others have found new life. So in this Rust guide, I've rounded up all the best bunker-based designs that still work in 2024. From stability bunkers to offset and wide gap bunkers. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you some brand new methods to secure your base that you haven't seen before. But where can I test these methods? Don't worry, I got you. Do you want to make your own Rust server where you can test all of these bases? Then you should check out Pine Hosting. You can make a high performance server in minutes with their user friendly and super easy to use configuration and startup page. No matter where you are in the world, Pine Hosting has a wide range of global locations and any cast of DOS protection, so you'll always have the best possible ping, which will also boost your server rank. Plugins only take one click to install with their UMod plugin, which makes it perfect for noobs like me. And what if you got a server with another provider? Don't worry, Pine will personally help move your server from another host. And I'm not just talking about Rust, they offer a wide range of games from Minecraft to Ark. And if super affordable prices wasn't good enough, make sure to click the link in the description and use my code STELIC to get 30% off. Now let's get started. First, let me say that I'm not the creator of all these bunkers, and finding the original creators is almost impossible, so there will be links to some of them below. If I didn't mention someone, I apologize. With that said, let's get to the bunkers. First, we have the broken stairs bunker, which I found 6 months ago and showed in this video. You can build it as simply as possible. Attach the shelf to the wall on the first floor and build the spiral stairs on top of it. And on the second floor, build a doorway. That's it, your bunker's ready. It's impossible to get through the doorway now, even if you ask a teammate to push you through. So the only option left is to break the stairs. And that's exactly what we need, because it's impossible to do any damage to these stairs. And of course, you'll damage everything around you, but the stairs won't break. And to open this bunker, you just have to break this twig shelf. It's a very simple, cheap and efficient bunker. And here's the best footprint for it. But anyway, you can find more base designs in the description below. So pick the one that you like. Next, we have this little monster, which is even cheaper and easier to build. To open it, just place a roof next to this wall. Inside, you'll have a TC and a few boxes. If you practice, you can fit two large boxes in here. To build this bunker, you need to find a rock with a straight side and place the square as close as possible to the rock. This way there will be no gaps after you have placed the roof. Next, cover it with the wall on the left and place a few boxes and TC inside. Finally, seal this bunker with the wall and build the triangle in front of it. That's it, your bunker is ready to use. But if you don't want to have a base next to the rock, you can build this bunker inside the 2x2. It works the same way, you place the roof and half the wall disappears, opening access to the TC. You remove the roof and the wall is back in place. To build this 2x2, you need to place two low, one high and one extra high foundations. Next, place the roof here and cover it with the wall. Inside easily fits two large boxes and a TC. Seal this room with a wall and add honeycombs around as I show. From here you can open this bunker. The key is not to build anything on top of this wall, otherwise you won't be able to open the bunker. Next we have this little base with no doors or windows, and to get inside it you have to break this twig foundation. Now you can easily get out of this base, and to close this entrance just place a twig foundation with the half wall, and then upgrade it. By the way, it's impossible to break this twig foundation from the outside. To build this bunker, you'll need to find a small hill and place a triangle inside it, but not too deep. Just like this. Next, add two high triangles on the sides and two squares. Cover your main core with the walls. Here, place a half wall and a regular wall on top of it and seal your base with a roof. That's it, your bunker is ready. Next, we have a good old triangle roof bunker, which was quite popular in the past. And it works the same way now, 
only it's more difficult to build. You need to break the ceiling to open this bunker. And to close it, you have to do the opposite. This looks simple, but it can get tricky when trying to build. So, to make this bunker, place first triangle as high as possible, second triangle at mid height and make the last one as low as possible and add two squares. Then replace the middle triangle with the high one and the high triangle with the low one and enclose your main core with the walls. Next, place a half wall here and add two floor frames. One of them must be inside the foundation. Upgrade both of them and the rest of your base. Now cover it with the ceilings and place a doorway here. Bunker is ready, now you can seal it with the roof. And here's a classic stability bunker, the easiest and most common in the game. To open it, just break this twig, it will remove the ceiling and open a way out. To close it, place a half wall and cover it with the ceiling. Easy, simple and cheap and it can be used in almost any base. But it has one serious disadvantage. These foundations on the sides can be easily soft-sided. To avoid this, add a half floor so they can be broken. Now you can use the furnace as a jump up to get out of this base. But also you can use a ladder. Here's another insanely popular bunker. This time it's a roof bunker. To open it, just break this wooden foundation and you're free. To make it work properly, the foundation must be upgraded into wood. It's necessary. It's very easy to build. First, make a 2x2. The foundation should be a little higher than the ground. Next, add a high triangle here and a low triangle with honeycomb here. Cover the high triangle with a half floor. And close your main core with the walls and ceilings and place a wooden square with the roof in front of the high triangle. That's it. And here's another option of a roof bunker inside a 2x2. As you can see, it's impossible to get through this roof until you soft side the ceiling. To open this bunker, just remove the twig. And to close it, just place it back in place. Not a bad option, but you can do it another way. And here's an example. Again, you won't be able to get through this roof, even if you ask a teammate to push you through. And also, you can't soft side anything in this base. To open this bunker, just place another roof on the left. This will create a gap that you can easily walk through. And to close this bunker, just remove the twig. To build the first bunker, you need to place one low and three high square foundations and add one high and one low triangle foundations. Then make a honeycomb on the low triangle and enclose your main core with the walls and ceilings. Here you need to place a half wall and two ceilings. Next place a roof here, another triangle roof on the right. That's it. To build the second bunker, you need to place two low and two high squares and cover the low foundations with raised triangles. Next, enclose your main core with walls and ceilings. Place a triangle roof here and add a door frame with a half wall on top of it. That's it, your bunker is ready. Now, to open it, just place another triangle roof. And by the way, you can do it on both sides, which makes this bunker more convenient. This bunker is one of the most unusual. It has no doors or windows. And to get in, you have to place a roof next to this wall, which will create a gap to get inside of this base. To make this bunker, you need to build a regular 2x1 with airlock. Next, place one more triangle here and build a wall and ceiling. Upgrade the wall into metal and the rest into stone. Add the metal door frame and rotate it so that the metal wall shows these extended metal pieces.
place a ceiling right here. Next, go on the side of your build and place a twig foundation as close as possible. If the stability is not 79 or 78, build it again, until you get this exact stability. Next, upgrade the wall with foundation into metal and place a roof to get inside of your base. That's it, your bunker is ready. Now let's get to the offset bunker that they tried to fix, but the community found the solution. To open it, you need to place a roof right here. The ceiling magically disappears, revealing an entrance inside. And to close this bunker, just place a ceiling back and upgrade it. I'm gonna show you an example of this bunker on a regular 2x1 with an airlock. First, unclose your main core with the walls and ceilings. Add one more triangle here. And now repeat after me. Your leg should be on this rock texture, and from here you place a triangle. If you have the same rock texture on a triangle, then you did it right. Next, repeat the same steps again. Place a square and add 15 triangles, and then build back. Carefully attach this square to the twig foundation and place two half walls. Finally, place a ceiling from this position. Now you can test this bunker. And we got an offset bunker for the last one. To open it, just place a roof next to the wall. Inside can be any footprint, like 2x2 or 2x1. And it's not too complicated to build. I'll show an example on a few triangles. First, you need to build 5 squares on either side of your base, another triangle at the end. Next, remove all of these squares and build back with triangle foundations. Remove this triangle as well, and that's it. You can delete all the excess foundations, and close these foundations with walls and ceilings. Here is your white gap. To open this bunker, just place a triangle roof. And if you want to know more building tips, then here is 20 and 5 advanced rust tips and tricks that will bring your building skills to the max level.